in this video we will have a look at Microsoft Power Pages so this is the Microsoft Power Platform Community thread for the Power Pages the question here is upload multiple web files in Power Pages using Power Automate so if we want to upload a bunch of files to the web files it's a manual task in power pages management so if you click on new here you can see here you know to set the name of the file then the website then the uh, partial URL of that and once you saved you know you'll get the file content option so I'm going to put a test here that's my website and put the partial URL as URL as that same name as my name then you can see okay you need to set this to published save now you can see the file content so this is something new here you know if you're using an older version you won't be able to see this you need to add this under the notes attachment so what you're seeing here is the latest version of the power pages management okay so how do you upload this so initially I thought you know it's quite a straightforward job you go to power automate and then uh, you know start adding a we need to go to the database and add a new row then look for the web files so it's quite straightforward the that's the entity name then you need to set uh, you know I don't want I want to hide that from the site map as yes and then you set the name of the file so let me you know I'm just, just going to put test here for the minute so I'm going to put um, my uh, name uh, table name is not sorry the web file is name is test and the partial URL again test and the publishing uh, state so the publishing state means if I take you back to the web files here you can see here this is the record it's after published you know this guide we need so you can see here MSPP publishing state and that's the ID we need to map okay so I'm going to hard code that here and uh, map it so that this is the syntax you need then slash MSPP underscore publishing states you need the plural name then the ID in two brackets and in that brackets you need to put the ID okay similar thing for your web website also so to finding the website ID you what you could do is again you need to go back here and click on the website that's it then you can see the entity name MSPP website and then the ID okay so um, that's this is a syntax again you need to put that right you don't need to copy anything else that's that's fine that's done okay let's uh, do this as upload web files save the record so those two st two steps are straightforward okay the next next step is not that straightforward it is so say for example um, um, I'm going to um, you know my couple of my files are under my SharePoint folder so I'm going to go to the SharePoint and um, get get files so get uh, get file content get file metadata get file metadata using path so if you select that you'll get this you know and then you can say okay I want so this is my SharePoint and I got one JPEG file and suppose I want to just upload a file another file like this okay so uh, it's not the exact file you don't need to put a CSV file in your <laughs> web resource you may need that I don't know uh, most likely a CSS file here yeah um, so let's go back here selecting that then the file path so you can see my library is called test um, aj doc lib and uh, I'm going to select that here test aj doc lib here Uh, okay so that's only the file no I want more than one file sorry I used the wrong one here SharePoint 
Um, get files. Okay, get files will do. Okay, delete that. Okay, again uh, selecting my library name which is test aj doc lib. There we go. Limited to folder. Okay, I'm going to say, um, yeah, it's only one. If you got multiple folders, you can limit it. So it's only one, it's only my root folders here. So that's okay. That okay, and uh, that's that. Now, next, uh, get file content. Okay, just uh, use the SharePoint again and use file content. Okay, get file content. Here we go. That's what we want. So, here, uh, you know, you need to select the file content here, which is that uh, the address and the uh, file sorry the address and the file identifier is the uh, let's look for file then you'll see some or look for the ID then uh, that is from the get files that's the list ID I'm looking for another ID here uh, drive item ID I unique identifier of the document library in the must graph identifier values can be used in fire related actions so here we go that's what we want so that go, that's get okay, that's that's where you get the file contents right okay the next step is i'm going to add a new row i'm going to drag and drop the new row here now because that's what i want so okay before that what i'm going to do is um let me delete this now and see whether i am you know whether i can see um, all these files i'm getting it correctly or not okay doing the manual test and uh, run the flow Right, I can see you know there are two files there and um, it's getting the file content yeah that's a file and uh, then you know you can get the content also there right okay now edit and uh, again dataverse add a new row here and then um, what we want here is the web files here it is okay name so name of name I am going to use the file name here by default so um, the file name with extension yeah and then again the partial URL uh, you know you can use uh, again the same thing uh, file name uh, no partial URL I'm going to use let me check uh, the web the web files here how the existing ones are saved yeah so it's the same see it's, it comes with the extension also. okay so just use that then so again uh, you know uh, partial URL I'm going to use file name with the extension here it is okay now uh, you know as I explained earlier my publishing state is going to be slash that entity plural name with the ID and again the website okay so you need to check your IDs and make sure the IDs are correct. I believe the publishing state might be the same, but I'm not sure about the website. Might be different web publishing states. I don't know. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah. Right. Okay. That's done. And um, the next step is I thought this is where it gets a bit tricky then. So uh, once you're done, generally, be, uh, you know, you can use another database action step because remember under here. Uh, you can see this is a file um, what is that yeah file content see it's called file content and that's what that is uh, so if it's a file content file data type data verse you you can do upload an image that's what generally you know we can use then under here you need to select the table name but I need to know the table name what it is so what I did there earlier is I went to I went here, the existing one, look and inspect. And um, select that. So you can see here, it's it, this is the table name it's using, Power Pages Components, you know. Um, unfortunately, it's not that straightforward. I thought, you know, um, I added, 
I checked, uh, you know, the schema web files under a solution, but I couldn't see it. Uh, I couldn't see the file content. Also under the advanced find, I couldn't see it. Uh, so only way this I can find through is this way now. So I inspected that. Turned out to be that's called power page components. Okay, but when I look again here, the table name. If I search for a power pages component, um, there is nothing there. You know, there's nothing there called power pages component. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use enter a custom value here, and then um, use power pages component there as a hard coded value. Then the ID is going to be your ID from the previous row, which is that's what we need to connect to. You know, so look uh, look the syntax here um, under the under here see that the power pages come on and then the bracket the ID of the record where that's where it gets that link so going back to my power automate ID look for um, web file so web file unique uh, you know ID that's coming from the previous step which I created there we go that's there now the column name generally you should get the column name here here it is the file content because I've set it as dynamic it coming back as file content and that's a file content you can see uh, here see the file content is the column uh, scheme name of that uh, this one here uh, the field name yeah okay so now we are nearly there then then the content so the content is uh, search for content here we go file content that's it okay now save the flow now hopefully that's all we need you know so this is this was a trickiest part finding that you know where it is you know which uh, where it is getting held so it's turned out to be it's in power page components then might be it's a generic entity Microsoft is using for the whole um, you know the power pages configurations like the file uploads and all that um, okay so flow is running now okay there are two records looks like it's all done now so let me go back to my web files here let me close this go back to web files now oh, I can see um, is it anything created here so edit filters I'm going to go with uh, created on today yeah create on today and uh, you can see there are two files here dot jpeg and oh no I think I got it wrong that is it created on today apply that Oh, there are quite a lot of files been uh, been uploaded. I need to go and have a look whether I use the right. Uh, let me have a look at this. Okay, I found the issue. What happened there? So there are a few things I modified in the flow. I'll show it. So under the add new row, I forgot to set the parent page. So again, that's MSPP underscore web pages then the ID. So to find the you know the parent ID, just open existing one of the file you uploaded. Click on the parent page. If you want to set under the parent page, yeah, then only you need to use this. So click on this link. That's a home page, and then you can see the entity name MSPP uh, underscore web page, and then the ID. So that's the first thing I did use the plural name remember web pages it is yeah then the good so that's one change then the other one I changed here is I used I used the, the get file content using path so um, you know I, I put a compose and under the compose I used a slash test doc um, aj doc lib that's my document library then the file name is dynamic finally I mapped that under the file path okay these are the two changes I did 
finally I forgot to show you earlier like in the content name I haven't put anything so I need to put again the file name with the extension also that's a content name also this is quite important otherwise it will show that as untitled so it better to give a file name then you know that's file name with extension then okay so that uh, then everything else is same like uh, so when I went back and edit uh, you can see uh, you know this was the power pages component we put so now you can see once I had once I saved the flow and edit the flow again it turned out to be that's called the site components so if you look the peak code that should still show as the power pages component here we go see that that's entity name then the entity name is called power page components see that yeah so um, the actual table name uh, from the drop down, drop down box is called site component so if you can't see it you need to use uh, the method which i shown you earlier click on the dynamic content and uh, you know type the name that is power page components okay so I ran the flow and um, earlier and i will show you what's outcome it is let me go back to the web pages uh, sorry the web files here it is so i got two files here back back garden one.jpg and sample csv.csv file okay uh, going back to the web pages if we go that's one created earlier that's that if i click on this file content open the file content you can see if we go that's the uh, picture i uploaded the other one is the csv file just have a look that there we go that sample csv.csv you can see this is that excel file again going back to web files download that open that csv file you should be able to see the content then you know just want to make sure that there we go that's there then okay so uh, you know the important thing is this the upload file or an image site components and then you know map the raw id from the previous step which is the add a new row uh, where we adding the web file and then uh, you know the file content column type uh, which will it will appear automatically file content if you if you if you don't see it just put that as file content again if you look the p code you should be able to see all here see that that's the actual name so just put that as file content in one word all small case okay again here all small case power page components okay and then uh, you know the content and the content name everything coming from the sharepoint connector hope this is useful thank you for watching